Hello everybody, this will be a quick tutorial on Market Cipher DBSI or Dual Band Support Indicator. If you guys learned something new from this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Anyways, we are on the daily time frame and I have the Market Cipher DBSI turned on. Now, this can be uh, pretty simpler than a lot of people tend to overthink this, but my advice to you is to not overthink this. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of numbers and whatnot on the candle. And so how you interpret these numbers is on the bottom of the candle is the bullish power. And then on top of the candle is the bearish power. And so really the higher the number, the stronger the trend. And so right now we are getting a 11 bullish power and a negative one bearish power. And as you can see, you can just kind of like uh, put the math together as um, you can see that the bullish power was kind of, it was weak, now it's getting stronger. And as you can see, there was strong bearish power, but now it's getting weaker. And each of these values, I think is, it goes from a negative 10 value to a anywhere to a 30 value, but I could be wrong with that. And so that's just kind of how you interpret this. <clears throat> the moving average above this is the 200 candle moving average. Uh, it's, uh, it can be useful for major support and resistance. And right now, since price is below the 200 uh, moving average, bears do have control um, on the daily time frame, and the 200 moving average can be looked at as strong weekly support too. Now, what I like to do with Market Cipher and what time frames I like to use the Market Cipher DBSI on is mainly larger time frames. And so the daily time frame and up, um, I noticed that the six hour works pretty well too. I do have a separate video on that for a strategy of using the six hour time frame, but uh, for simplicity's sake, I'm not going to mention it. And so I like to start off with the monthly time frame and just kind of work my way down with this. And so what I recommend too is using the Coinbase chart when you're looking at a Bitcoin chart using the DBSI strategy because there's more data to read and it gets more accurate compared to like the Bybit chart or Femex chart. And so what I like to do is start off with the monthly and see what the monthly is doing. Right now we are getting a bullish power of seven. And as you can see, I like to check at least the four previous candles off of the DBSI and as you can see the bullish power has been coming up and you can, I'd like to look at then the bearish power and you can see the bearish power has been coming down over time. And so what I really like to interpret based off of this reading is to see if the bullish power or bearish power is stronger than one another. And right now you can see the bearish or the bullish power is stronger in this case. Next, I go to, to the two week time frame and just kind of look at the values right there. Same idea with the monthly time frame. You can see the bullish power right now is at a nine and the bearish power is at a two. The bullish power has been coming up and the bearish power has slightly been coming down. So that's just something to keep in mind. Next, I go to the weekly time frame and just kind of look at that. Right now, you can see there's a five for bullish power and then two for bearish power. Bearish power has been coming down and bullish power has been kind of coming down. So it means kind of consolidation when you see the two just kind of not moving too much and there's not much of a difference. So something to keep in mind. I now, then I go to the three day and I look at the, again, the bullish and bearish power right now we're getting a negative three bullish power and a 14 bearish power. I like to relate these to previous candles.
And so you can see the bullish power was coming down. Then it was coming up and same with the bearish power. You can see it was coming down. Now it's kind of coming up again. So it means bearish power is kind of in control in the three day. Next is the two day time frame, And here you can see bullish power has been slightly coming up as bearish power has been coming down, meaning bulls slightly have control over this. And then lastly, the daily time frame I like to look at. And right now you can see we're getting a bullish power at 13 and a bearish power at negative three. You can see that the bearish power has been coming down too in relation along with the bullish power coming up. And so that means there's upward momentum However, to keep in mind is that there may not be as much bullish momentum because we are still below this 200 moving average, exponential moving average. So there might not be that much power to it. And with this in relation, the 200 moving average will also be red in this case. Whereas when you have, if we go back in time, you have a green and you can see we were in a pretty good uptrend. The bad thing about the DBSI is that you can't really back test it. I think it only goes back, um, let me measure out the candles. It only goes back 24 bars, so it that's kind of the downside to it, but that's why I tend to use it on higher time frames, and it's pretty accurate on higher time frames in relation to looking at market cipher B. And so that is something to look out for. Again, that is pretty much it to looking at DBSI, short, short and simple. If you guys learned something new, again, please give me a thumbs up. Plus I'll leave a link in the description to a Discord where I post all my trades, along with other crypto related ideas, along with other traders uh, trading various assets. Thanks.